Today I'm making chocolate chip cheesecake bars. It's a simple recipe that's sure to be a hit with your family and friends. So in my bowl, I have eight ounces of softened cream cheese. It is at room temperature. I just added one egg that's also at room temperature and I'm adding some sugar. And I'll make sure, of course, to leave the recipe in the description box. And now I'm just going to blend this together. And now I'm going to set this to the side while I work on the cookie crust. So I have 16 and a half ounces of chocolate chip cookie dough. I'm gonna open the tube and then cut the cookie dough into slices. All right, so I've got my cookie dough all sliced up. Now you don't have to slice up your cookie dough. To me, it's easier to spread it in the pan when it's sliced, but do whatever works best for you. So in front of me, I have um, an 11 by seven pan that I have greased with butter. And all you're gonna do is take about half of that cookie dough and press it into the bottom of your pan. All right, so I've got my cookie dough all pressed out and then I have just a little bit remaining to add to the top. But what you're gonna do is take that cheesecake filling and you're just gonna spread it over the top. And I did wanna mention, if you would prefer to use a smaller pan, like a nine by nine or an eight by eight, you can. That's gonna give you a thicker bar. Um, I just prefer a thinner bar, so that's why I'm using an 11 by seven, but whatever your preference is. Okay, so I've got the filling spread out, and now, like I said, you're just gonna take that extra cookie dough and just kind of drop it all over the top. Okay, I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. I'm gonna pop this in the oven for about 35 to 40 minutes. Okay, so here are the bars. I let them bake for exactly 40 minutes, and then I let them cool and then I cut out a few so you all could see what they look like. You can see that the cookie crust is completely done on the bottom. The uh, cream cheese filling is so cheesy and so delicious. It's a really quick recipe, but it's so good. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, we'd certainly love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.